Hey there, Santi here. Today we'll talk about simplicity versus complexity in the context of creating a really good productivity system, whether that's for note taking or task management. And we'll talk a lot more about this in the context of, for instance, an app like Tana, which is my current favorite. And I have a course on that in case you're interested. I'll talk more about it later. But first, I want to start with a story. So in the 1960s, NASA spent a million dollars developing this space pen because normal pens would not work in zero gravity. The ink inside of the ink cartridge would just fly around and the pen just wouldn't write in space, right? So they spent a million dollars developing this special pen that would have like some sort of capsule with the pressurized nitrogen that would allow you to write in space, right? And they sounded like, wow, this is amazing. I mean, it's very expensive, but it's amazing. Meanwhile, the Soviets decided to go for a simpler solution, which was why not just use a pencil? And that is a story of complexity versus simplicity. Sometimes you just gotta go for the obvious and not try to complicate things too much, right? That seems right, right? No, the story is wrong and it's a myth and there's a better takeaway because the story is not true, but you might hear this story being thrown around when it comes to comparing simple solutions versus complex ones. So I do, I will tell you the real story towards the end and where the story is false, but right now let's talk about this in the context of choosing an application for you know your system so i was in twitter the other day and someone said like apple notes is the best way to go you know like advanced users actually use apple notes and i'm like no that's not true like it's okay if you want to use something easy to use but do not conflate something easy with something simple because a simple solution is something elegant that is well suited for you that is actually quite advanced you know i believe simplicity is an advanced solution to our problem so in order to achieve something simple i do need i do believe you need to go through some level of complexity and what i mean by this is that when you choose an application to use for you know task management for note taking something a place where you want to have like some sort of exter external brain where you externalize your ideas where you organize everything you gotta do I believe it's much better to go for an app that is actually quite complex, that has a large feature set, that has a high ceiling of what you can achieve in it, versus an app like Apple Notes that you can only achieve a certain amount of things. If you want to create a database, if you want to filter all your tasks, Apple Notes is not going to let you do that. And that's, you know, when you go for a simple, or rather, not, not simple, sorry, an easy solution like Apple Notes, you're going to have to be switching apps constantly, constantly, constantly until you find something where you can actually develop the system that you want to achieve, right? So that's why I believe an application like Tana, or even Notion, to be fair, Obsidian too, like these apps that are very extensive that allow you to do quite a lot, is a much better place to develop a really powerful system that eventually becomes simple. But in order to achieve simplicity, in order to achieve elegance, in order to achieve something that is streamlined for your needs, I do believe you need to go through some level of complexity, you know? So in order, for instance, to exploit Tana to, to become the system that you want it to, to be, I do believe it's better to understand all the things that are possible in Tana, or at least most of them. You can do something like 8020, which is like, with 20% of the effort, you can get 80% of everything that Tana can do. And that way you can actually maximize these features into building the type of system that eventually becomes simple. But in order to achieve the simple system, I think it's important to actually understand or like start with a system that is quite complex at first, that, you know, maybe you use quite a few features, maybe more than necessary. And that way through trial and error, through experimentation, you understand what are the essential aspects of, of, of this complex system that you can single out and decide, okay, yeah, I mean, most of most of the results that I get out of the system that maybe is high maintenance right now, these are the elements that give me the most, uh, you know, ROI, you know, return of investment on my efforts. So I'm just gonna take and extract those bits. And then after going through this experimentation of a complex system, you can single out the best parts of it and develop something quite elegant and simple. So I really believe that is the reason why a much more complex app like Tana is a much better place to develop a really powerful workflow opposed to something that is very easy like Apple Note or you know Evernote or OneNote where you have a very low ceiling in terms of what you can achieve. So that is my takeaway when it comes to apps and like that is exactly why I decided to create a course teaching uh, you know Tana because I believe that if I can help you speed up a little bit of that process and if I can help you build those fundamentals faster then you can get straight into the powerful part which is trial and error once you understand the fundamentals of how to use different technical aspects of the app you can start experimenting you can start developing a complex system that over time as you get more self-aware of what is useful for you 
then you can strive and stumble upon an amazing simple system. So that's what my Tana course is for. I really believe that if, if you know, it really depends on the resources that you have. If you have time or money, if you have more time than money, then spend a lot of time just experimenting and understanding Tana by yourself. I really believe you can do that. So my course might not be for you if you have a lot of time in your hands, but if you do have a bit more money than time, you may you might be a bit short on time, but you might have a bit of money to just spend on and invest on a course. That is what my course is for. That's the idea of why I do what I do. So I've gotten some criticism being like, hey, I mean, I could figure this out by myself. Why are you making a course? And I'm like, it's, it's fine. Like this course is not for you. This is for the people that want to maximize their time and they can use their money to save some time. So that's really who my course is for, to help you speed up your learning process on Tana. So if that's was interesting, do check it out. And with that said, I hope that, that, that all clicks and helps you understand how to develop the best possible system. And now let's go back to the story of NASA. So what actually happens is that it's not like NASA didn't think of like the, the pencil as a solution, right? What they actually realize is that a pencil can be actually quite dangerous in space because a graphite, you know, the, the, the tip of the pencil might break on space when you're writing and this thing might be flying around the spaceship and might fly into some ele electric, you know, some electronic stuff, some, you know, spaceship stuff. I'm not an engineer. I don't know exactly what's happening there, but this might turn into a fire, an explosion. Like there, it, there's dangers in using a pencil. So it's not like NASA didn't realize this thing and they were just dumb. Like obviously NASA is composed of like very smart people. So they determined that the best way to solve this problem was actually to buy you know, a, a pen. And if you want to get into the story, I'll leave, I'll leave a bit of a description below where you can read more about how it actually worked because they actually didn't even spend that money. They actually bought it from a guy that developed a company developing the space pen. It's a really interesting story, but the takeaway is that sometimes you might want to take a shortcut. You might want to use Apple Notes because it's easier. You might want to just use a pencil because it's easier, but sometimes achieving an elegant solution does require going through some complexity and developing the space pen, going through the extra steps so that later you can have an elegant solution, which is a pen that works in space. So hope you enjoyed this story, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. So bye. That was a pen.